Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world knows as Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who I learned this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the Hopefully Lit. You know, and today, this message is, you know, basically going to be titled, um, Rolling Blackouts. You see? Hey, because, hey, starting from the head apostles, you know, and elders, you know, to all the brethren with the um, same like-minded doctrine, hey, they've been speaking on blackouts for years, man. You know? I, I heard of myself speak on these blackouts, how they're going to come. Hey, they didn't say how it was going to happen, but they said it was going to happen. Hey, and the Lord got it planned out through what? Um... Through um through through the cold, man. You see, hey, and it's gonna get way worse than this, man. This just the beginning. You see, Jacob Trobat ain't even popped off yet. You see, it's gonna be way worse than this. But hey, they've been speaking on blackouts, and now you seeing blackouts, man. Blackouts in the summertime, now blackouts in the winter. It's so hot that the power grid is going out, and it's so cold the power grid is going out. On top of you got um people ambushing power plants shooting them up you see hey these are the times we're living in matter of fact let me grab this real quick Habakkuk 2 and verse 3 and it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come, it will not tarry. You see? And that's and that's is talking about all the prophecies. All the prophecies that the apostles and elders have been talking about for years. Hey, though you may think, oh, the blackouts would have never happened, you see, hey, now you seeing them playing out. Though you thought a hey, World War Three would never happen, hey, now you see it playing out. You see? Though you thought the Karagma would never happen, now you see it playing out. You know, that it go to all, you know, the um prophecies. You see? Well, uh, going back, I typed in blackouts in the US. First thing popped up right, you say power out outage dot US. So you say states by customers customers out. Twenty eight thousand in Washington, thirteen thousand in New York, eight thousand in Maine, five thousand in, in Cali and 4,000 in Michigan. So, hey, it's like just all, oh, hey, it's a lot, man. You see? Just blackouts right now. Then continuing on, just scrolling down, massive winter storm brings rolling blackouts, power outages. Hey, they stopping flights, Arctic blasts, causing blackouts. Hey, they got it all on the news right now, man. If you ain't paying attention, then, hey, it ain't meant for you to know. But if you want to know and you see these things playing out, hey, we're getting closer and closer, man. You see? But, hey, all these, hey, just part of the prophecies. Let me see. Mm -hmm, yep, it's second address fifteen. Matter of fact, start from the top. Second address fifteen and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth say of the Lord and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true so everything written in these scriptures they, hey, they are faithful and true and this is what the Lord said um, second address 15 starting verse 14 woe to the world and them that dwell therein see he said unto the world you see 
hey, they getting it all over this place, man. All these other countries and stuff. You see? You see it's addition amongst the people like Sri Lanka. You know, they 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 ramshack the um the president house. He had to leave his house. You see? And he said, Woe to the world. And and America, Babylon the Great, they're gonna get it the worst, man. Because this place is pure wickedness. It say, um, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw of nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another people and swords in their hands. You see? A uh civil wars. You gonna see that taking place at all times. I just saw a video today. It was some um little young jakes at a swimming pool. You had old Edomites grabbing them by their afros, snatching them out the pool. You see? And they it's just just kids. Hey, these are the times we're living in, man. And and the Lord, he gonna, he gonna, hey, he gonna multiply, you know, the evils amongst this place, man. It's gonna get way worse than that. Uh verse um verse 11. This is what I wanted right here. Uh, second edge of 15 and 11. And it said, verse 10, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them not to dwell in the land of Egypt. You see, and that's our people. You led like to the flock to the slaughter, man. You just, you just dumb-minded, man. You do whatever they say or trend or whatever cool. You just whatever, you know. That's the way our people is. You just lost sheep, man. You all over the place. Verse 11, he said, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. You see, he said he's going to smite Egypt with the plagues as before. You see? And will destroy all the land thereof because America is going to get wiped off the face of the earth, man. That's going to be the ultimate destruction of America for all this wickedness. These are just the place that the Lord said he was going to send upon this place. You see, he said blackouts as easy before. And we just read, you know, how all these rolling blackouts, you know, that's going on right now. You see, through the winter, you know, through the summer. You see, you got you got people shooting up the, the power grids and stuff, man. Hey the, hey, the Lord had these things playing out because, hey, it's prophecy, you see. But um, yep. Let me um close it out right here. Salaki. All right, Salaki. Yeah, this is Isaiah 55 and verse 10. And it says, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and return of not thither, but water of the earth, and make of it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. You see, as the rain come up down and do of his job, you know, uh, replenish the earth. Like it say, give seed, you know, to the sower and bread to the eater. It say, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. You see, as the as the um, word of the Lord come up out of the mouth of his prophets, hey, it says it's going to be the same way. He's going to come out and he's going to do what it has, you know, he's going to do his job. He's going to bring forth. You know the uh, the prophecies they're gonna be uh, spoke uh, beforehand. And then you're gonna see it come to pass. You see, and you know the water come down and rain. You say, okay, I, the, the grass gonna grow. You see, as with these prophecies, it says it shall not return unto me void. You see, so all the prophecies that the elders, you know, and apostles have been speaking on for years is not gonna return back unto you. How about Shimei I was shot void? I just want to get the word void real quick. 
is H7387, vainly, emptily, in empty condition, in vain, without effect. You see? So, hey, the apostles and elders been speaking on blackouts. It's not, it wasn't um, going to go back into the heavenly father without effect, and it's thus say of the Lord. You see? So, whatever the Lord says is going to happen, that's what's going to happen. You see? Yep, but that was just it on that word. Um, continuing on, it says, It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So all these prophecies are being spoke on, and it's going to take place. It's, it's for, um, it's for an, an appointed time. You see? It's for an, uh, matter of fact, I just want to see where the word appointed go to. Say for the um, Habakkuk two and three for the vision is yet for an appointed time, you see. So hey, it might not happen right when they said, it, but it's for an appointed time, you see. A hey, a meeting, you see. It's for uh, you know basically, like I say, an appointed time. Let me get the simple Google. It says, appointed simple Google definition, it says, of a time or place decided on beforehand, designated, scheduled. You see, it's for, an, it's for a scheduled time. You see, that's why beforehand. Hey, the, the apostles and elders have been saying this for years beforehand, hey, and it's set for, you know, an, a scheduled time, man. And you're going to see all these things take place, the Karagma stations, you see, World War Three. People getting drafted. Uh, this place getting invaded. It's only going to get worse, man. But, hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying to you, brothers and sisters. With that, I want to say shalom.